Ramsbottom, England, people gather in the street to chuck something called black pudding at a stack of pastries on a tower. And I'm wondering, could this be the quackiest contest ever? Black pudding is a breakfast sausage made with a special ingredient that we'll be getting to grips with later. So, it's a recipe for extreme wackiness and I can't wait to get stuck in. It's the World Black Pudding Throwing Championships. It definitely ticks the weird box, but will it be wacky enough to win a golden fighting Marty? Yeah, pretty good chance, I reckon, Ambo. Look at this thing. Hot potato. Oh, no, back at you. <laughs> your face. Oh, no, your face. <laughs> <laughs> on a tour of all things quirky. England is pretty wacky. It's claimed it's home to the world's loudest pet cat. Its purr is as loud as a lion. Black pudding throwing's held in Ramsbottom, but our first stop is Chester. Chester is an historic city that the Romans adopted as a military outpost when they moved in nearly 2,000 years ago. Hello! Hey, guys, how's it going? Oh, really good. So Excellent. we're all the way in Chester, but you Romans are here. What's that all about? Oh, it's because Chester is the home of the biggest Roman amphitheatre in oh, Britain. Amphitheatre, is that like acting? It is a little bit like acting, except it involves lots of blood and death. Amphitheatres in Roman Britain staged combat to entertain the masses, and we both kind of like the idea of putting on a show, so... Now repeat after me. To be burned by fire. To be, to be burned, burned by, by fire. fire. We're taking a gladiator's oath. But it doesn't exactly sound like the best job description. To be beaten, beaten with rods. To be killed with iron. To, to be, be killed, killed with, with iron. iron. This I will endure. This, this I, I will endure. endure. OK, you belong to me now for the next ten fights. Live or die. If you're alive at the end of ten fights, you get to go home. Sweet deal. Ten fights? That doesn't sound that bad when you're protected by that much armor. Put us! Put us! Yeah, but somebody forgot to tell him not to play with knives. Doss! Right. You guys are gonna be doing that for six hours a day, every day. Not Kane. Okay. Look, a lion! A lion! Oi! You can't run away, you swore the oath! Wow, Roman Britain was full on. <laughs> but modern Britain's just as extreme. Check this out. Hi, Mike. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Oh. Mike Forster is an expert worm charmer. Oh, so keen. Let's charm worms. Mm -hmm. Let's put the L plates on. Oh, yeah. Just the one set? Well, yeah, just for the minute, yeah. So, obviously, you've, you've assessed that I'm a little bit above a learner. Oh, well, I've, I've heard a bit about you. What exactly is worm charming? Well, it's a rather unique competition whereby we try and charm as many worms out of the ground as we can. I've seen snake charming. Yep. And that involves a little bit of... You can try that. Can yeah. you make the worm dance? It might do. You can try it. Charming worms works by mimicking the sound of rainfall, which makes worms rise to the surface. Yeah, well done. Oh, yeah! Speaking of charming, man with a flute, and it seems to be doing the trick. Really, Gilly? These are stunt worms. The aim is to practise pulling them out. You can see the strings. If you accidentally break a worm, does that count? If you do it on purpose, it's life disqualification. Absolutely banned. Red card, that's it. Mike's pretty passionate about his webs. Now we know the rules, we can put our charming to the test. We're going to have a worm off and these guys are going to help. And tension is mounting as we get kitted up for the contest. I've got my whistle, of course. So this is the foot stomper. Have you got them down with your hand like a yo-yo? The foot stomper works by making vibrations in the ground. Yeah, that disembodied foot looks a bit realistic for me. The rain simulator is similar. It makes little tapping sounds on the grass. And this one just... Oh, it looks like a garden fork, really. Yep, gently slot the prongs in the ground and twang. Twang is back in two like that. Are they angry when they come up? Are no, they, they disturbed? They, they love it. No, because don't, like don't forget, every year they see friends and relations they've not seen for a whole year. It's a day out for the worms. Just like black pudding throwing, worm charming is all about precision and patience. So it's a chance to brush up on our skills ahead of the main event. Oh, you got one! No way, that's our first real one. This is so exciting. Our two teams will charm worms for two minutes. High score wins. We're the worm wonder dogs. I will am Greta. With the Williston Worm winners, introducing my team. Carrot, Edward, Fiat! And Gilly, Worm Up. Five, four, three, two, one. Start charming, guys! With pitchfork professionals on hand to keep us and the worm safe, it's game on. Yes! Oh, yes, win! Gilly's trying the Pied Piper approach. Are you on your leg? Are you on your leg? Grab it. 
Oh, he's got his twang on as well, but nothing's really working. My Worm Wonder Dogs have two in the cup and Gilly's Worm Winners are yet to score. Play to your strengths. I should get back on the whistle. Go on. Hey. Woo. Are you Boom! Whistle while you work. That's one more worm rocked up to the party. I'm just going to let all these friends know what they're missing out on. Watch this. Got to get deep down there. The waves are coming thick and fast now. Yeah, it could be anyone's game. Yes. That good's the whistle. Yes. Just getting in some last minute twangs. Stop charming! Wow, that was intense. Seven of one. But not as intense as this. The counting is underway and the results are about to be announced. 44 is the number to beat, Gilly. Over to you. Amberley's Wonder Dogs have wormed their way into the lead with 44 worms. Can Gilly's worm winners top that? 35? Nah. Lots of soil, but only 35 worms. Woo! <laughs> Song of defeat. I have to shoulder the blame, guys. I'm sorry about that. How'd you feel it went? Fine. Oh, you're really not that upset at all. <laughs> it was really cool. We had a really good team. Harry, um, obviously, was working really hard. William was making all the good calls. He would tell me if I was digging in the wrong spot. And then we had Greta, who had the most amazing voice. <laughs> Together, I think we had all bases covered. Ah, Lancashire. Locals are born charmers and the countryside's pretty charming too. We're en route to the Black Pudding Throwing Championships, where competitors chuck a shiny black sausage at a pile of pastries on a tower. Is this the wackiest event in the whole world? The contest will be rated for grossness, originality, laughs and difficulty. If it scores over 20 points, the event will win the ultimate accolade, a golden Barty Marty, and a chance to be named the Wacky World Beater. Under 20 points, and it scores mold. Ooh, now where were we? We're on our way to Ramsbottom, Lancashire. Ramsbottom? A town named after a sheep's behind? That's pretty funny. Actually, the name is thought by some to come from the word bottom, meaning valley. Valley of the Rams. Our new mates are showing us around the town with its heritage railway and retro steam trains. <laughs> OK, I think we've looked at enough trains, so it's would you rather time. Zach, what are our options? Would you rather take a shower under a rung bottom water tower all day. Ooh. Or retrieve a pound coin from a bucket of local slugs. Oh! Do you guys like these slugs or are they no. really? No. 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 If you like mud shell, you lettuce. If you grow lettuce, yeah. they're yeah. all over them. Slugs are common in Ransbottom. They love wet weather and are good at hiding pound coins in their slime. The tower at Ramsbottom Station services historic steam trains with chilly water. Cold shower, anyone? All right, call it in the air, Amber. Yeah. That's you, Gilly. What do you guys reckon you should do? The water tower or the slug bucket? Slug bucket! Slug bucket! Shower! 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 Slug bucket! All right, all right, all right. The slug bucket, because you know what? There's not much I wouldn't do for one pound. Oh, really? Well, then let's bury that pound nice and deep. Oh, yeah, get that jacket off. Yeah. Hey, Gilly! Oh, yeah! Like the worst lucky dip ever. <laughs> Keep digging, Gilly. Oh, oh that is so gross. Oh. Oh. Mom, oh, you can do it. Slug, you know, slug. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, that was gross, but you and that pound. Let's get out of here. It's nearly time for the World Black Pudding Throwing Championships. Competitors of all ages can join in to knock a stack of 12 Yorkshire puddings off a six metre high platform. The player to knock off the most puddings obviously wins. Will our pudding popping be up to the job? Time to get trading.
My strategy is to learn all about the black pudding. I want to know everything. I want to know how it's made, how heavy it is, and how best to chuck it. Next, please. Tony is a black pudding maker and contest organiser. Oh, I'm just going to ask you how they're made now. Um, it's dead easy. You just blood, which is our meat ingredient, yeah. Did he say blood? Blood, which is our meat ingredient. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought he said. We've even got um, scotch porry jorts in it. We have everything's good. Black pudding is eaten as part of a traditional breakfast in Lancashire. But how is it made and how does it taste? I'm about to find out. Secret herbs and spices are added to pig's blood. And once made into sausages, the puddings are put into boiling water to cook. Looks like a donut. Cheers. These are the actual black puddings we'll be throwing tomorrow, but are they up to scratch? You are, mate. That's all right? Yeah, good batch. It's a good batch, all right. I passed the test. The puddings taste great, but I'm more interested in learning how to throw them. That is going to go miles. Perfect weight, fits to the hand, ready to roll. I've so got this one. Top catch. Lancashire black puddings in this contest are all made to the same size and weight. And they are wrapped in tights to keep them aerodynamic and sanitary. I'm trading my assistance for some insider info. So how far away do you have to toss it? The Yorkshire puddings are on a plinth about 25 foot up at the scaffolding. Yeah. Four stacks of three, so there are 12 Yorkshire puddings up there. Yeah. The aim is to knock as many as you can off with your three throws. So Yorkshire pudding, what's that? They call it a delicacy from over the border in Yorkshire. It's exactly the same mix as a pancake mix. Making Yorkshire puddings the target of the Lancashire black puddings is a fun way to remind folk from nearby Yorkshire about the friendly rivalry the neighbours share. But there's a serious side to this event too. There are rules such as throwing only from this special grate called an ochre. Do you want to lift that? Oh. Oh! Oh, wow, oh, well, actually, it's really heavy. And the event raises money for charity each time someone throws. So how does that work? So you put a pound in the bucket and you get three black puddings to throw at the Yorkshire puddings. This is very important for my game plan because if it costs a pound a turn, I'm going to need to work on my budget. But how much are we talking? Guys, firstly, it is an honour to be in your presence. Obviously, you guys won last year. So how many did you knock over? Uh, six. Six each? Yeah. Is that the first time you had a go or uh, did you both have a few turns? I had a few, a few turns. turns. Guys, please, be specific. How many, how many is a few? Ten. Ten turns? I uh, definitely had a few before good, good. I did well. Sounds to me like cashing up before the main event might be the best strategy after all. Oh. Ooh, especially because I'm pretty bad. Only problem is I'm broke. The more pounds I had, the more goes I could get. So my logic is get as many pounds as possible by doing some odd jobs around town, starting with the dishes. Hey, Joy, I know we said this is only worth one pound, but it's pretty dirty. I think I should get two. There you go. All right, last minute checks for the black pudding throwing tomorrow. Put a waste paper basket up there to replicate it. And I got my stand-in black puddings here. I should practice. Here we go, underarm. Bang, on form. Bang, again. Great. Fire. Here we go. No, 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 Check it out, some manager rich today. Don't be jelly. Okay, let's see how many goes I'm gonna get at the black pudding throwing. One pound, that's one, that's two. That is some sugar, who put that in there? Three. Whoa, no way. According to my maths, I get 27 goes tomorrow. All I gotta do is make sure I don't spend my money between now and then. It's pudding day and crowds are gathering for the start of the event. Make way for the grid, the golden grid. The Oka's in position. Let the showdown commence. I stand armed with a full working knowledge of the rules of pudding combat. Watch yourself, lady. We are well. With my black pudding throwing technique perfected, I can shoot him right up to that tower. My swag of pound coins is at the ready. Choose your pudding, take aim, and fire. Oh, no, no. Whoops. So it's my cashed up readiness versus Gilly's pudding prowess. But what do the stats say? Name, Gilly, AKA Pudding Perfector. Strengths, 
Pudding Expert. Weaknesses, very limited budget, probability of winning, 58%. Name, Amberly, AKA Moneybags. Strengths, serious coinage. Weaknesses, bad underarm technique. Probability of winning, 70%. Let's start the show. <laughs> Oh yes, there is tension in the air as the crowds gather in the town centre. The Yorkshire puddings are being placed in position. And the mayor is officially opening the show. Oh, there we go. I'll tell you what, she's not making it look very easy. Correcto, and that's why I've come prepared. Oh yeah! See this? I have earned this victory. Let's roll. I reckon I've got this contest in the bag. The money bag, that is. Nice. Senior competitors go for the top tier, but juniors aim for the one below. Ooh, excellent shot. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. All the puds are making some of the audience members peckish. <laughs> and Moneybags can't hold back any longer. She stepped up to the golden plate and is about to take first shot. There we go. All the training in the world can't prepare her for the pressure she's under right now. There's not, oh, there's not much noise going on. Here we go. Oh, the queue's not very big. Please join the queue. Yep, choke. Walk it out, walk it out. <laughs> well, let's see if you can do any better. Just seen Ambo go, she's got about, I don't know how much cash. This one here is a very special coin, okay? Because I had to pull this out of a bucket of slugs. So I have to make this work. This is killing. A one pound coin only buys three throws. This is what we in the biz call bad planning. Gilly's throwing today as the pudding perfecter, so let's hope his aim is perfect. Not bad. No good so far. Oh. oh, and he's out! Pudding Perfector has missed and he's out of coins. I don't know where my energy is. I'm not giving it any beef. I need some serious inspiration. All the way from Turkey last night. 2009 champion pudding thrower Hussein has already dislodged a total of six puddings and he's a front runner. I wonder what his secret is. Zane, how, how many pounds are you spending today? How many shots are you going to have? Uh, probably... Oh, no. Five quid. Oh, I've got way more chances than you. I've been working towards this for ages. So, between Gilly and myself, who do you reckon will uh, knock more off? Uh... I think oh, wait, wait, look at the I, I think he will be. Oh what? Yeah. Interview over. Yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna start knocking them off right now. Actually, Zane, okay. Zane, can I just nick some cash from you? Cash, yeah. I don't have much money. Well, so... I, I charge interest. Okay, interest. Well, you know, I'll pay you back with the winnings. All right, All right thanks, mate. Cheers. Good luck. So, Hussein's boosted my confidence, and more importantly, my cash flow. Calm down, one pound will only buy you three more chances to pop those puddings. And my collection of coins is going to keep me ticking over for a long time yet. Just uh, start trying some alternative, alternative tactics. Oh, no. oh, I it was a pudding. Nah. Oh, Live. Oh, the MC's not happy about her stinky feet, but I reckon it's money bag's aim that's off. Oh. Guys, in terms of combinations, I'm just working through them. Definitely going to keep my shoes on. Money bags is really pushing her budget today, but how far can it take her? Oh, all that hard-earned cash comes down to this. Oh, <laughs> One more. Oh. And she's done it! The coin!
points finally paid off. Let's take a look at that magical moment again. Look at that. Rebound. How fluky was it? I have to say, the odds were stacked in her favour anyway, and she's finally got some luck. Oh, that felt so good. I know I only got one off, but that felt like number one for winning. So here it is, my one remaining pound. Thanks, Usain. And it's my last chance to draw even with money bags. Keep dreaming. The stakes are as high as those puddings as the pudding perfecter steps onto the golden grate. Nice style. Nice style. Ooh, that's his first throw wasted. His knees are on top of the Oh, yes. And another miss. If he doesn't score on this one, he is out of the contest. Fly, pudding, fly. to be happy with that. Yes! So that's three, three. Bang, Yorkshire pudding. I got to open up a bakery with how many Yorkshire puddings I got there. Bang, and it goes straight down. Delicious. Cop that, Amber, cop that. Breaking news back at the contest, a rival competitor has matched Hussein's score of six puddings, and the pair are locked into a sudden death playoff for the World Championship title. The next person to knock over a Yorkshire pudding wins. Focus, boys. Oh, yes! And Hussein's done it! He bags a trophy, some puddings and a hundred pounds. Now it just remains for the organisers to officially announce the winner of our little contest. The winner of this category by a long way is this man here, Gilly. Yeah. Thanks. But no cash prizes for you. Better hope you say he doesn't want his pound back. I'll pay him back with handshakes, and winning was worth every penny. This is the Yorkshire pudding. I managed to bring three of them down, which makes me the champion. And I tell you what, you meant to normally have these with beef and vegetables, but today I had mine with a side of victory. Whatever. So how does this event rate for extreme wackiness? It's gold or mold time. For grossness. I had blood pudding on my hands, but I liked it. It's a six. For originality, you've never seen puddings on a towel before. It's an eight. For laughter. Ambo's special throwing <laughs> techniques were pretty funny. It's a five. And for difficulty, I spent all my pounds and I only got one pudding down. It's a ten. It's go! All right, Ambo, it's lap of defeat time. Take it away, fellas! Fire!